is up fam welcome back to leslie Jones tarot this reading here is for my scorpio zodiac signs we're going to do your what's the tea reading here for you let's see what are the messages scorpio needs to know for the what's the tea okay we got entrapment oh my goodness unleash your creativity here okay entrapment here some of y'all may feel like you have a blockage like maybe you're trying to create something or release something here and you may feel like somebody's trying to hold you back some y'all want to step out on faith here. Unleash your creativity. Steampunk energy. I like this. Victim consciousness. Don't let somebody come in and make you feel bad that you're moving on or moving towards something. Yeah, because you got letting go. You got letting go. You also got victim consciousness. And then you got unleash your creativity. Don't let somebody make you feel regretful for letting go of, of situation or not holding on to situation. You got home and phoenix rising. Yeah. Especially if like you're moving on and you're rebuilding somewhere after somebody that came and destroyed you or tried to destroy you and you're rising up from the pain and the ashes because you're focused on your self-love. Yes, baby. Self-love energy here. Don't let somebody come in and try to like play on your play on your brain. If you get what I'm saying. <clears throat> the, the energy I'm talking about is like, well, you really just going to move on from me like that? You really just ain't going to talk to me no more? Why would I still talk to you? Why would I still interact with, with you when you cheated on me, you went behind my back, or you slept with my best friend, you know, whatever it is, you know, or that family member, you was talking behind my back. Why would I, why would I associate with you? You showed me who you are. That's what it is. If somebody shows you who they are, believe it the first time. Don't let somebody keep wrapping you back up into their mess, their chaos, okay? What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? I'm a here we go. This afternoon, I'm gonna do the weekend reading, y'all. Okay. Bottom of the bottom of the deck is evil queen. You deserve sugar, not salt, baby. You deserve sugar, not salt. My ear just started ringing really loud. Scorpio. If they serving you salt, they not being honest, they being deceptive, they acting like an asshole, any of that, acting like whatever. You don't deserve that. You deserve to be treated very well. So if somebody done treated you like some shit, baby, no. <laughs> Keep it moving. You got number 36, gold. You don't need someone else to fix you. Now, that's a wake-up call for you right there, Scorpio. You realizing in your solitude, baby, I never needed you. I never needed you. All I ever needed was me to believe in me and look at what I can build. Look what I can create. You see what I'm saying? Number five, stars. You can manifest your every wish. You got 34 there. Uh, 4 plus 3 is 7. You got 36 here. That's 9. Yeah, yes, y'all, I still count the numbers. And then you got 5. So 7, 9, and 5. Stars, you can manifest your every wish. Yes, you can. Scorpio, this is about you. This is about you not um, allowing somebody to trap you in like a relationship or in guilt or victim consciousness. Like this could be somebody, that victim consciousness, this would be the type of person that come in and be like, but we've been friends for like 12 years. Okay, Stacy. But you done fucking stole from me. You stole my car. You sleep with every person I get with and all this and all that. You know, whatever. You know, <laughs> no offense to any Stacys out there. I'm just using it as the name. But, and you still want me to be your friend? Girl, get out of my face. Like, it's that type of energy. <laughs> That's just how I got to give it. Y'all, I'm sorry. Let me open up this window. There we go. That's That's the type of energy I'm getting from this, okay? You're like, babe, I don't even need your friendship. I'm doing well off on my own here. You don't need someone else to fix you. Someone is trying to convince you that you are broken beyond repair. Unless you accept their helping hand, of course. If someone offers to fix some part of you, it's not because they are being selfless or kind. They know that you are in a vulnerable place. And they want to make you entirely dependent on them. Mm. Tell them no. Thank you. You know exactly how to put the gold in your own cracks. Yes, baby. If you feel yourself hitting a weak spot... That's when people want to come in. You may you may just have one of those moments in, during the day where you feel overwhelmed, you feel stressed, and you just break down crying. You're just like, oh, my gosh. Like, oh, what is going on? Or you post up that one post like, oh, my gosh, I'm just so tired. I just need I just need sleep. And then that one person that you ain't been friends with in forever come back in, and then they want to be like, hey, I can help. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Baby, if you want to vent to somebody, go vent to your journal. Go vent to your pillow. 
Go in your closet. Y'all, my, my thing is, especially when my kids are here, I will go in my closet. I'll shut my bathroom door. I'll go in my closet. And if I need to, I'll cry out for a minute. <laughs> I don't care what it is, okay, baby? I'll cry out for a minute. Then I get back up and be like, whoo, I'm good now. I just need that cry. No matter what it is. Like, just let it. Sometimes we all need to cry sometimes. That's what the freak the tears are for, to release that energy. Cry it out. And I see stars, you can manifest your every wish. And don't ever think you need somebody to create something. Whether it's a home life, stability, work. Hell, you can even create a, a pregnancy without the person. Now, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm just saying. Yeah, you can manifest your every wish. It is time for you to take your goals and turn them into your reality. Create that dream board. Wish on those shooting stars. Write in a daily manifestation journal. Cast a small or large spell. The universe is waiting to give you exactly what you deserve. Given that it is best for everyone involved, keep in mind that you also need to believe that you deserve it. Yes, Scorpio, believe in yourself. Don't let somebody come in and trap you like, oh, no, I can't stand that type of stuff. Because that's what it is. Somebody just trying to get you trapped, make you feel like you need them. And you don't. You don't. Never had, never will. I don't know who needs to hear that. I remember being up, y'all, I remember, like, I'm going to tell y'all, I remember in my past, with my ex person, I used to think it was codependency. I used to think that I needed this person. I was like, "How am I gonna pay these bills? How am I gonna take care of two kids by myself? How am I gonna How am I gonna move forward? How am I gonna move on?" Like I just was like, "Y'all, it broke me." Like I was like, "This is when I was in my darkest days, y'all." And then I remember getting that wake up call of "Walk by faith, not by sight." They kept saying that to me, and I kept saying, "I I don't I, I'm trying. I don't understand." They just kept saying, walk by faith, not by sight. My ear would always ring, and then it would come in, walk by faith, not by sight. And I kept seeing the eye of Haru. Anytime I would go to sleep, it would come. Let me know I'm protected at all times. And I'm like, okay. All right, I'm walking by faith, not by sight. Baby, it's like the moment I started doing that stuff started falling into place. My bills were paid. I wasn't struggling no more. And this was after I had struggled for like a year, y'all. Like I was, my account was in the negative, stuff like that. I was robbing Peter to pay Paul. Going to take my kids to the hospital, like we have a little work badge, and I would used to have to go get food for them, you know, off my next paycheck because I didn't have enough money. Like that type of struggle we were going through, and then baby stuff started happening and stuff started. They said they I, ever since then I've been walking by faith, not by sight. And y'all, now I've been better now than I ever been in my entire life. Now I will be thirty three this year. I will make more money. I make more money now than I ever have in my entire life. I'm more stable, more grounded, more happy, more abundant. What, it's like whatever I want, I manifest and it comes. And it's because I'm like, okay, whatever's meant for me, allow it to come, you know. Hey, I would like that new car. And they like walk by faith. And I say, okay, whenever I get the car, I get the car. Like it's that type of energy, you know what I'm saying? You got to, y'all, don't let somebody come in and make you think you need them because you don't. What's going on with Scorpio? Extra triggered. And that triggers somebody. That freaking triggers somebody. You got the dodging. I thought that said balls, y'all. Oh, my God. It's bullets. Dodging bullets in the reverse here. Queen rising. Look. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Somebody's seeing you. You just stepped in your power, baby. That's all that is. Stepping into power. Praise coming up in spotlight. Yes, Scorpio. You be male or female. You stepping in your power, Scorpio, and you're realizing, somebody's realizing they missed out on you. See, they thought that you weren't going to be nothing, or they thought that you weren't going to have the success you have, or they thought you weren't going to get back up. Now they triggered, extra triggered. They pissed off because they realized they messed out on the best thing that they could have had. Ooh, that Beyonce song. You are the best thing I never had. Look, look, <laughs> look. Somebody, yeah, you realizing, you know what? I didn't miss out on you. You missed out on me. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, now somebody trying to come in and, 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 and mess with you, like on your mind. Yeah, because they realized whoever this person was, let me tell you, you dodged them anyway. Because now they salty. Look, they extra triggered. They heated. They pissed off. Stuff apparently ain't going good in their life right now. Like they they released the, the good vibe person here. Cock blocking. Wasting time. Whoever this was, they going through like... They world is looking upside down. Let's just say it like that. They're showing me the stranger things. You know, you, one side it looks good. The other side is like dark and nasty. That's what it is. Without you in their life, it's like 
they're they're dealing with gray skies. The sun is on your side. It's gray over there, and they want to come back. They want to, but the way they're coming back, I don't like it because it's the entrapment card. They try to make it feel like you need them, and you don't. What's going on with Scorpio? Yeah, it's they stalking, watching, obsessed. They're obsessed with you. Look, because they realize they missed out on you. They thought that you were the negative person. They found out they were actually the negative person. Ain't that some? You separate yourself from somebody when you was nothing but loving and caring, and then you step away, and then they realize they thought that they were better off without you, and then they realize that the whole entire time they were their own they they were their own demise. Mhm. Mm now you looking like damn. That person was holding me back this entire time. Look at me over here. <laughs> it happens, y'all. It happens. What's this? Fishing for comments in reverse. You're not even searching for this person. You don't even care. You're like, look, I'm moving on. Yeah, inside scoop. But somebody looking you up, a closer look, nosy up in your business. They lost their chance that you did. They realized they lost out on you. You're not even checking for them no more. If they was once getting the praises and stuff that they used to for whatever, they're not getting it no more. What's going on with Scorpio? Rejected. Now they feel rejected because you're not checking for them. Caught a case, sexual infection, sexual di disease, rashes. So this could be a Jezebel spirit here. You could have blocked them because of their karmic friends. Or, or they allow sex to control them or, you know, very low vibrational type of energy. What's going on with Scorpio? keep hearing they're not checking for me no more they're not checking for me no more impersonator wants to be you acts like dresses like looks like and copies you this person is a pretender they make it seem like they they could have made it seem like they were better than you at one point maybe they were doing better than you at one point and that's okay sometimes we're like that but when when you're with a partner that's doing in a better position you are when you're partners, you work on each other. You help build each other up. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying give all your money and then you end up broke and then y'all both some broke bitches. You know what I'm saying? No offense. <laughs> but y'all both broke, you know? But <laughs> not trying to call you bitch or nothing. I'm sorry. But like y'all both, <laughs> I hear that song, I don't fuck with broke bitches. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> but with this impersonator card, it's like now they realize it's like the roles are being reversed. Like somebody, people are seeing it for what it truly is. Like if they were once saying that you were the person holding them back or you were this, this, and that, it's being shown that it was opposite. This person was actually holding you back. And you're over here like creating success and standing in your power and stuff. And now this person wants to, it's like they want to trap you again. Child services, they could be like not paying their child support or they done fell behind on their child support. Some of these people just don't take care of their kids like they say they are. They may try to show off like they do, but they don't. Hmm. What's going on? Blocked? Yeah, you. this person may be triggered because you had them blocked. Photo proof. Getting every, they went and checked, and you got them blocked. That's okay. They're going to create another account anyway. What's going on with Scorpio? Waiting. Yeah. Cock block. It's like they waiting on their life to get better. Or they waiting on you to come back, but it's more like they waiting on their life to get better. And it, nothing's happening. Or they waiting on you to come back, but it's, it's not happening. They didn't expect this. It's like that what? And now they watching you win. Look, stalker, jackpot. Now they watching you win. Watching you blow up. Dirty offer. Now they want to come in with this little dirty hand offer. Look like they've been playing and creating mud pies. Now they want to come in and offer you something. Baby, you don't get off my shag rug. <laughs> Just playing. Yeah, they watching. They watching you. Look, it says winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money. They watching you boss up. Now they want to come back with this little dirty offer. But see, you weren't enough for them at first. Same shit, just a different day. Yeah, they ain't changed. Whoever this is, ain't nothing changed for them. They moving. Let me see. Let me check the time. Whoever this is, they ain't changed. Okay. Mm -mm. They still got the same shit going on. If they've been ripping and running the streets, haunted is in reverse. Uh, which is memories, flashbacks, trauma, side effects, but it's in reverse here. Yeah, you know they ain't change. You might get you might get a word from somebody like, oh yeah, they're still doing the same thing. They're still messing with the same folks. They still talking to the same people. Like, ain't nothing change. They still work at the same job. What's going on with Scorpio? Karmic friends, and it's because they surrounded by the same people. That's your problem. When you surrounded by certain people and you realize your life ain't changing. You surrounded by the wrong people, baby. You need to you need to get out there and and joke around, or maybe go into solitude. Sometimes going into solitude is your best thing. 
Because it says, can't fully trust them, tension, secret competition, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. What happens is when you get into these connections with people, karmic friends, karmic relationships, whatever, some of them don't want to see you do better than them. So what are they going to do? They're going to keep you at the level that they are on. So you can never do better. Because then you make it look like, well, dang, you, you could have been doing this whole entire time. Like, dang. So whoever they're surrounded by is keeping them stuck. And they, they may not realize it here. Marrying for money. Drama starter. See, somebody's a... They try to use people for money. They start drama here. They could be sleeping with married people for money. That type of energy. It could be like a, you know, a Jezebel spirit. <sighs> Tripping on you. Wolf in sheep's clothing. They pretend like they're not watching you, stalking you. But they are. They are. They may act. This is that type of person. Like, I mean, I don't give a fuck about Scorpio. I don't care about Scorpio. And then at home, they sitting on the phone like, why well, Scorpio won't even unblock me? Like, all I want to do is just tell Scorpio I miss him. Like, it's that type of energy. Okay. <laughs> What's going on with Scorpio? Yes, y'all came out again. Same shit, different day. This person, they may cloud hungry. Says anything, does anything, makes shit up and dramatic. If they were saying that their life was good once before, they still doing that same shit. And it's not. Okay. They are pretender. Impersonator is falling under cloud hungry. I mean, it's falling on top of cloud hungry. So this person, they may come off like they got it together like that, but they don't. Some of them got car problems. Yeah. No facts, has the facts, makes it up in lies, bad habits. They could be caught up in like drug uh, use, addictions, toxicity, toxic relationships. Nothing's moving for them though. With this carless cart, nothing's moving in their life. Nothing's changing. They're, like if if you seen, if they were in one position a year ago, they're still in that same position. Three years ago, still in that same spot. This is that type of energy. You know, like you go to somebody, they're like, yeah, I'm trying to change my life. I'm trying to get better. And then you look and they still doing the same shit. They smoking every day, drinking every day, partying every day. Okay, baby, you got to change. Something's got to change. You can't keep doing the same stuff. It's not getting you anywhere. You know, I, I don't know. What's going on with Scorpio? You been telling me you working at the same job that ain't gave you no raise, that ain't paid you nothing. Like you still the same job. You just going to keep sticking it out at that job knowing that you're not happy. Like, knowing you need more money. Yeah, screenshots, getting evidence here. Some of y'all may find out, some of y'all this person stole from you, or you may hear about somebody thieving. This could be as simple as somebody saying that, you know, they wasted their time with this person. Look, look what's poking out. Ain't shit, card. Or you may look back and realize, like, yeah, I definitely wasted my time with this person. They a time waster. It's like anybody that's attached to this energy, they don't get nowhere. Boss daddy. This person could be saying that <clears throat> they building a business. They could just be a, a father figure as well. They building a business. They making stuff happen. But family issues is here with bankrupt. This person can't even keep their head above water, but they want to come. They want to be looked at as big boss energy. Sorry, y'all. My stomach's dry. Y'all hear it. They want to be looked at as big, big boss energy, but they not even vibing high here. And, and it's like they're they're having to go through some type of, they need to evolve, but it's like they can't force her. So they want to come towards you and force their their life on you or force themselves towards you here. Forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want. And it's because you've already done your work with this jackpot energy. So now they want to come in and eat off of you here. Legal issues, wolf in sheep's clothing. But I'll be careful letting this person in. Because they may not be telling you everything that they're going through. They could be having some type of legal issues here. They 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 just said garnishment. So this person could need financial help, financial assistance from you here. And this is why they're coming towards you here. They're trying to trap. I'm telling you, you need to be careful. Always pardon. But this person, they they priorities is fucked up. Let me just be honest. Whoever this is, they priorities is fucked up. They in this bankrupt energy because they put themselves in this bankrupt energy. Now they want to come in kissing on your ass. Yeah, because look. Idol. Love, respected, admired, idolized, and fan. You done done your work. You done worked on yourself. You done built yourself up, created your success, created your stability by yourself because you realize you didn't need nobody else. This is the type of person that needs friends and, 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 and foes and frenemies and shit to be like, yeah, man, I see you doing you and you ain't doing nothing. You're not doing nothing. How are you making something happen when you're spending all your time drinking and smoking and partying? You're not making nothing happen in your life. Baby, you, you could do that when you when you get your job done. You see what I'm saying?
But if that's what your main focus is on or sitting around watching TV, you know, not going to work, you know, all that stuff. If that's what you own and you can't afford the, 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 the roof over your head, maybe your priorities is fucked up. You need to get yourself together. That's what I'm seeing here. It looks like this person's more focused on going out to the club and stuff than, you know, dirt digging, partying, living in the moment. Then you're going to find this out. Some, somehow this is going to come to the surface. I feel like if they were with somebody or they left you for somebody or they went elsewhere, like this person's going to end up getting rejected because it's like all they do is they may talk about you to this person. All they do is think about you here because they realize they fucked up. They messed out on a good thing. Even their friend, they're, they're, they're surrounded by the type of friends that would be like, yeah, man, I seen so-and-so doing good. You it must be somebody paying their bills. Like they wouldn't even acknowledge that you did it yourself. This would be them like, hey, man, friends to be like, man, bro, don't even sit there and think that she doing that by herself or he doing that by himself. Man, he probably got all kind of bitches over there paying for that or he or she she got all kind of motherfuckers over there. Paying. You know, that's that's them type of friends. I don't like them folks. You know what I'm saying? They they mm -mm. Mm -mm. what's going on with Scorpio? Woo. Legal issues. Yes, yeah, somebody got legal issues. Somebody got legal problems here. The thief card. They've been thieving somewhere, divination abuser, watching too many readings, manipulation here is what I'm seeing, bad reputation, giving money. See, they can ruin their reputation with you, so now you won't help them out. So now they got to, they got to do what they got to do, whether it's manipulate somebody or something like that, because this legal issues, they're having problems. They're really, this is justice. This is their karma as well. Like they having problems, something's going on. Don't get tied up. Don't get wrapped up in this fool's mess. I'm sorry, but don't please don't. Yeah, photo proof, getting evidence, dust it off. You may see, I just seen a freaking mugshot. Some of y'all, y'all gonna see this person that got arrested. And this person is gonna try to contact you to bail them out. Nope. Mind your business. You have a collect call from mm mm. Mm mm. Hang that shit up. Mm-hmm. They better call that fuck buddy that they was messing with that was oh so good and shit. That was oh so good that they was depending on them, them toxic friends that they was depending on. Them would be the ones. Don't call me. <laughs> Whoever this is to you here. Cock blocking, yeah. Giving money. Uh-uh. Don't. Y'all be careful with this person. I'm telling you. It's like they want to get you entangled in some mess. You over here doing good, minding your business. And it's like they want to get you entangled in some mess. If they come to you and say they got a business proposition for you or something like that, you need to do your background research on this. Because I feel like they're lying. They're doing something illegal over here. That's going get to you, get you pulled into this and then you're going to be looking crazy. No offense. I'm just being, I'm being real, y'all. I'm trying to. <laughs> that came out very ugly. I didn't mean to say it like that. But, you know. Okay, let's do the Kipper deck real quick. Let's see what last messages we have. And then I got the. I got to finish getting ready for work, y'all. I got to go feed Luna, too. She out there. What's going on? Coughing, yeah. Whatever this was, it's done. Let it be done, baby. Don't try to resurrect this. Because somebody's trying to, coughing and thoughts. It's like they're trying to manifest you back, or they're trying to think of you to get you to call them or reach out to them. Oh, it's dead. Okay, let it be dead. False person. Because this person, they're not even real. They can't even be truthful. They can't even be honest. Courthouse. The <clears throat> Look, my voice messing up. Courthouse card is here. Somebody's going through like they karma. This is they karma. Yeah, privileged lady. You look very abundant. You look very successful. I see some of y'all moving. I see some of y'all getting a new car as well. Your money's looking great. This, yeah, great fortune. Y'all, please. I'm begging y'all, please do not let this foolishness come mess up what you've already built by yourself. You built this. The privileged lady is a single person. She done built her fortune or he, she or he. Them built their fortune by themselves. They didn't need nobody to do this. Now, this person over here, whoever this person is, this foolishness is, male or female, whatever, they're trying to manifest you back. And I don't know why I'm getting that thoughts card with manifestation, but that's what they're giving me. They're trying to manifest you back, but it's a trap. That entrapment card is here. They're trying to get you wrapped back up in this toxic ass cycle that they still in, that they ain't never changed from because they keep surrounding themselves by the same people that they've been around for the longest. And if it ain't the same people, it's the same, it's different people, same energies. 
They're, they have not changed. And this right here, look, I just looked over and it says incarcerated. This person has not changed. Some of y'all, this is y'all family members. They toxic as fuck. I don't know who need to hear that. Your family is, is toxic. And you distancing yourself from them was the best thing you could have ever did. I don't know who need to hear that. But you need to keep it that way. Message, main female. Some of y'all going to hear a message from somebody. This could be from like an auntie or something like that. You may hear, oh, um, Jacob got locked up or uh, uh, Zach got locked up, you know, or Susie got in jail again. Uh, okay. Don't call me about it no more. Like, it, you know what I'm saying? It's it's that type of bullshit. Despair, expectation. Yeah, they're going to be thinking you finna help them. And you're like, no. No. Somebody just trying to get you caught back up. Occupation. Because they see you working. They see you making money. So they think, oh, well, so-and-so got the money to get them out. So let's call them. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Or so and so got the money. Hey man, I was with yo old girl. They really held me down. Let me contact them. You know what I'm saying? No. Let me get back into a relationship with so and so because they always held me down. No. Honey, if it's in the past, if it's something you had to cut yourself off from because it was toxic in the first place, you need to leave it exactly where it was. That's all I'm saying. But we all have free will, so please pick and choose as you want. Me personally, baby. I got them scissors ready, okay? And no, <laughs> I'm not, uh-uh. I don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> like, but this is what I have for you, y'all. I hope this gives you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.